Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Gabe and this is Games with Gabe. Today I'm going to be starting a new series and this is going to be programming for absolute beginners. And so in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to install Python, which is going to be the language that this series will be using to demonstrate programming. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to type in Python download on Google and I'm running on a Windows machine. We'll hit download Python here and then you'll be able to see the different distributions you can install and all that stuff. Okay, and so then it just asks you which release you want to install. And so this is just what we're gonna use to run the Python code that we write. I'm just gonna pick Python 3.7.4. You can pick whatever the latest release is. And that's gonna say for Windows users and we can go down to files and you just select the one for your computer. So if you're on the Mac, you'd wanna install this one. If you're on Linux, you would probably want to install the source tarball and then follow some Linux instructions for that. I'm on Windows, so I'm actually going to do the x86-64 embeddables uh, executable installer, okay? So I'm gonna download this, hit save, and then I'm gonna hit run right over here. Okay, and then once it finishes installing that, you can hit install down here, and down here it shows a little checkbox, add Python 3.7 to path. This is important, so you're gonna wanna check this. I'm not gonna check it to show you how to do that just in case you forgot to. So then we're gonna hit install now and then we're just gonna let it install. Okay, and then once it finishes installing, you can just hit close. So to test and see if it installed correctly, what you can do is you type in CMD down here, which opens up a command prompt. And if you type in Python dash dash version, it should say that Python is on there, but we didn't click add to path, so it's actually not going to recognize this. So what we need to do, in case you forgot to hit that add to path, is you go into uh, your search bar and then just type in environment. So I'll just go environ and then it pulls up edit the system environment variables. And there's gonna be a video on what this is too. But for now, just go into here, hit path, and we're gonna hit edit. And we're gonna have to add in the path that Python was installed to. So if we go to our documents and then you go to C. Okay, so then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna type in percent app data percent and this will take you to something that looks like this. Then we're just gonna click up here to app data. Then you're gonna hit local and then Python should be installed here under programs, Python, and then you should see Python 3.7 which is the installation we just installed. So then you're gonna hit right up here, just hit control C to copy and then we'll go back over here and we'll hit new control V to paste and that should paste it in. Okay, you'll hit okay and then just hit okay and okay. And then you're gonna have to exit out of command prompt and then type it in one more time. And then if you do Python dash dash version should say Python 3.7.4. This means that you've successfully installed Python. If this worked the first time, you shouldn't have to go through all that, but just in case you missed that step, if you do that, it should work for you fine. Now. To get into Python and mess around with it a bit, you can just type in Python, and that starts up a little uh, REPL is what it's called. And so this is basically just a loop that you can type in some text and it will interpret it as a program and then it will just do whatever it wants with it. And so the first thing that we're gonna do is play around with some variables, which might be easy. And I'm actually not gonna do it in here. So I'm gonna type in exit, close, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, exit one more time, then go into the search bar and I'm gonna type in idle. This is Python's integrated development editor. And this is useful because it adds a little bit of coloring which just makes things a little bit easier to see. And so you can just mess around with the language in here. Now to demonstrate what variables are, we're just actually gonna type it in right here. So a variable in programming is just a, it's like a variable in math. So basically you can just store any sort of value you want into it. So like you can name your variable anything. So like you could call your variable variable. And then if you just say variable equals three, then it's gonna store the number three inside variable. And so then if I want to see what it is, I'll just type in the name again and you see that it prints out three. And so a cool thing that you can do with this is you can say something like variable equals, and then you can say variable plus four. And so what this is gonna do is it's gonna do variable plus four and then assign that value to variable. So if we enter and then we type in variable, we should see variable equals seven, which is exactly what we get. And so these are the fundamental blocks of programming that you can use 
And you can use these to build up more complex software and eventually get into more complex things with this. So if you want, you should mess around with it. Just set some variables like A equals five, B equals C. And if you do that, it's gonna throw an error. It says name C is not defined because there is no variable called C. So then what we could do is we could say C equals six. And then if we say B equals C, then when we print out B, what do we see? We see that B is six. But just remember, B and C are not the same thing. So if we change B and we say B equals B plus one, we print out B, it's going to be seven, but that will not affect the variable C because they're two separate variables. And so when you say equals, what it's actually doing is it's assigning. So if I say B equals five, it's assigning five to the variable B. And so basically just play around with this, see what you can do. Once you have variables, you can do stuff like A plus B, and then it will print that out, A times B, and it will do that. Or you could do A to the power of B, which is two stars in Python, and then it will print that out. And then A divided by B, and A integer divided by B, which means it's gonna divide it as if with no remainder. So a good example of this is five integer divided by two, will give you two because it gives you what the divisor is without the remainder. And then five modulus two will give you the remainder of what five divided by two is, which is one. So these are all just the operators in Python. We'll go into them in more depth in future tutorials and everything. But for now, what I really want to hone in on is that variables, you can assign things to them just by saying A is assigned five plus three or two and then it should assign that to that variable. So just mess around with this, get comfortable with it, and then in the next tutorial, we'll go over the next uh, sort of big step in programming, which is something called an if statement, and we'll see what those are and everything. So I'll see you guys next time, and hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks, see ya.